All right. So can you guys see my screen? <laughs> All right. Who's this guy? Does anybody know who this guy is? Tony, do you recognize this guy? Of course is, I recognize this guy. That is uh, one handsome man if I've ever this seen is him. one. This is one handsome British SAS operative right here. This, everyone, if you can't tell, is our own Tony Roberts. I hope he doesn't mind me showing these pictures of him. This is during his time uh, in Iraq, I believe. But uh, you could see how much of a badass Tony is. So, okay, so you you recognize this. You you knew who this was. Do you know what that is? I do. <laughs> what is it? Tony, what is that? That's a short-barreled M4 that was heavily customized by me in Iraq. Okay. All right. So you're two for two. Let's see if you can get the next one. Who's this guy? Wow. Do you recognize this guy? If you don't, maybe this will help. I want to show everyone the newest addition, as long as he approves, to the Action Force line in Series 2. This is Desert Rat, based on our own Tony Roberts. I'm not crying, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. You're, you're not on screen right now, Tony. I wasn't sure if the silence was a bad thing because I can't see you guys. Oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Only, only Sal can see his women in the back. Mm. <laughs> Man, um, I tell you what, I, I, I love this, Bobby. I love this. So you approve? I, I like. I can do the figure. Of course, man. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, I love the fact that um, um, the pants aren't bloused or tucked into the boots because that—that's not only something I did in Iraq. I—I I, I used, I never used to tuck my pants in in the special forces either. Three-quarter old sleeves was a, a big thing for me. Um, man, that's awesome. I tried to get I tried to get as close to your look as possible, but also you know little little new little new flair. I know you didn't have the shema on, but I had, I had tooled it new and I hadn't given it to anyone yet. And I was like, I'm gonna give it to Tony. Uh, well, I I would wear a shema in in the winter in Iraq because it does get damn cold there in like mm -hmm. January February mm -hmm. out in the desert with yeah. the wind and um yeah. uh, if, if, if can you, if you can put up. The photos of me again. Yep. So let's just go to Tony. Okay. Zoom in that one on the middle, if you can. That that pouch at the back. This one? Yep. Underneath okay. that is my rolled oh, up. I smart. see it. Uh, I see it right there. It was yep. strapped on with it with elastic that I could pull out when it got cold and I needed to. I got gotcha. you. Around. Okay. Uh, so I said this is going to be part of Series 2. Uh, it may not be like initially Series 2, but this might be like a month behind the, the mainline Series 2. This one is going to be a Valiverse.com exclusive. So this one isn't going out to any of the uh, online retailers, Big Bad or anyone like that. I want this this one to go right to the Valiverse site. Uh, you're going to be your figure is going to be in the, you know, the throwback package. The only other one that's in there is Slammer. Um, so I thought it would be cool for you to be the desert rat throwback. So fucking love you, Bobby. And, uh, the cool thing is, is I'm glad you said yes to doing the figure because, uh, all right. Oh, sorry. So here's, here's a breakdown of, of, you know, the figure and all the gear kind of separated so you could see, you know, what you're wearing. And then I just got images from the factory of test shots. So your, your wow. parts have been tooled, and uh, these were the the first run test shots of uh, your parts. Now, you know the the vest and the the gun belt are you know uh, the Tim Kennedy figure uses them as well, but the the Shema and your head are are uh, you know the the newly tooled parts, which is very exciting and timed perfectly. I'm just sitting here listening to my wallet go. So you know we're buying like five of these, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, World Made of Cardboard has a question, which I would support. I'm not sure how the logistics would work, but uh, he asks, autographed by Tony? We can make something happen. Yeah. So I... So is there a general consensus that people dig the the figure? I have to go back and look at the chat now. Absolutely, yeah. Everyone's everyone's loving it, and if you don't love it, you can get the fuck out of my chat. Ah. Uh, Chris, <laughs> just Chris says, will he be in the comic? There's a question for you. Uh yeah. I mean, I guys, I haven't. Tony had no idea uh, about this, so I haven't talked to him about the logistics of being included in the line. So you know, we'll work all that out. But you know. Step one was making sure he dug the figure. Yep. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I told I told my wife. I told I showed showed it to her. I said, "I'm gonna make Tony cry again. Just watch." Jim <laughs> Largo says, "This is why we love Bobby. He respects the vets, the fans, and his friends. Well done, sir." Oh, here, you- come, here comes Fixer. He says, Tony's action force as fuck. <laughs> i tell you, I, one of the first things that, well, not the first, my, my mind's a bit blurry at the moment. <laughs> um, you, you're, you're showing these images and Fixer, I want to give you a shout out because one of the first things that came into my head was like, how's he going to react? <laughs> how's he going to react? Fixer, let us know in the chat if you're going to talk about this on the next Call to Action podcast. And if you are, um, I want to come on your show and have that chat with you. Now, I just want to point out, I didn't know this announcement was coming, okay? Bobby gave me the option to know, and I was like, nah, I want to be surprised with Tony. Tony, at the beginning of this stream... You mm-hmm. said Action Force made you want to join, or Action Man Action Force made you want to join the military because you know you could grow up to be one. You've literally grown up to be an Action Force. <laughs> <laughs> the circle is now complete. <laughs> That's right. And oh, Melinda sent in a super chat. Thank you, Melinda. Oh, you, you better do it, Tony. She says, Tony, you better autograph ours. 100%. I'll, um, 100%. I'll be doing that. So, well, uh, I think hopefully Australia lets Americans back into their, you know, their their continent again. But it'd be really nice to hand deliver your figure to you. We'll see what yeah. we can do. I'm getting my vaccination soon. That's going to be one of the big hurdles for for Australia. So, okay. Yeah. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll bring a, you know some riffraff with me. Maybe you know Sal and Michael. Maybe you know we'll we'll take a oh, trip down there. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Don't tempt me. <laughs> um, I am Bobby Valla from Valiverse. Uh, you can search Valiverse everywhere on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, I'm also on an awesome podcast on Friday nights called The Infinity Equation with my brothers Alex, Dante, and Ryan Laserpants. Uh, every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we go there and we throw down on toys. So go check it out. Tony, uh, listen, I, I I know my lot in life. I understand where I am in the pecking order of things. Um, if you're in my chat and you hadn't heard of Bobby, that's asinine. <laughs> if you're in my chat and somehow haven't heard of Tony Roberts from Analog Toys, I don't know what's up with YouTube and their algorithm. But they need to get that sorted out. But in the off chance that they don't know who you are, Tony, tell them tell them about yourself, where you're from, where they can find you, all that kind of stuff. My name is Tony, and I'm in love with Bobby Valor. Huh. Same. I, I, hey, I said I said this morning on the International Toys that there'd be a lot of man love on this stream, didn't I? Yeah. Um. I hope, I hope your wife doesn't get upset, Bobby. Can I take you out on a date? <laughs> Anytime, baby. Anytime. <laughs> Beers and peanuts. Sorry, <laughs> shots. <laughs> um, you can... Want me, want me to handle this? Guys, this is Tony Roberts. You could find him <laughs> Analog Toys on YouTube. He does great videos, a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of vintage action for us. 
vintage toys. He does a lot of modern stuff too. You know what? He just has a great channel. So if you don't know Tony and you're living under, you know, a rock, go look up analog toys on YouTube and just go follow him. Well said. Well said.